All right, let's get into WWE <laughs> Raw for May thirteenth, two thousand two. I don't think they still were used to saying WWE yet because there was a lot e. of F references, but there's also a lot of get the F out references. So I think it's the propaganda has just begun. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, we're going to talk about some crazy stuff. There was one specifically that I don't really remember, and then I saw it and I was like, "Oh my god!" I the propaganda I, style. Yes, I, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but first, we have to move to the music. Yes. Play that fucking refuse music. Refuse to see the change. Does he in say me? fucking? Yes, but it does. Okay. It's, it's censored, but it does play that fucking music. Is it music. censored? Yeah, yeah. Just okay, because as a kid growing up, I just always like I I'd never heard it censored. I always just yeah, play that fucking music. <laughs> yeah, like, even on the games. Sure, it's it's done in the way I think it tricks your mind because it's played that like it's it's oh it's played that fucking music. It cuts yeah. out the f or that's may, that's me style. Maybe that's yes, where I got yes, that yes, from yes, subconsciously. Right. <laughs> play that fucking music. Yeah, that's exactly wow. what it is. Yeah, that's crazy. Congrats lot of to fucking, them. A lot of pyro here, swirly pyro. Uh. Damn, that song is so fucking good, man. That's so Everything good. about this presentation here is really dope, to be honest with I you. I agree, yeah. If this was still the WWF, it would have been three times as cool, just so you know. Yeah, well, it dies soon. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, wrestling's <laughs> over. So we're in the after story yeah. at this point. Uh, this is the Go Home Show to Judgment Day 2002, or at least the Go Home Raw. How long did it take you to realize that Judgment was not spelled with an E? I like, actually still write it with an E no matter what. I think that's not wrong, though. I think they're both right, but I think this is more right. Does that make sense? Is one of these British? I don't know. You want me well, to do live? Well, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it off. <laughs> when you search judgment with an E, it, it, now, it's, the noun version is with an E, so I don't, I don't really know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess you're right either way, but WWF uh, or E, I guess. Get that out, man. Yeah, I sorry, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Yeah, I haven't seen right. that too many times. Right. Right. Uh, but get the E out, really. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Uh, we kick off the show here. Brock Lesnar comes out. Yes, uh, he's a Day of Reckoning style Brock Lesnar. Not so he yes because he. Uh, it's it's very weird. So they they show you know the crowd shot and all. Chair shot. Judgment Day six days away, and there we're in Toronto. Seventeen thousand seven hundred thirty two fans in attendance, which is a lot of fucking people. Um, they're also when you know when the the drop down shows up to show like what city they're in. It just says Toronto, not like like Ontario or not Canada. They're in Canada. Or, <laughs> yeah, no, just Toronto. <laughs> this uh, is a big. This is a big trip for them. Usually, Canada was a pretty. Uh, they always drew a house in Canada. Yeah, I mean, 17,000 people for a Raw sounds like a lost era as well. <laughs> like, uh, we haven't talked We haven't talked about the time they went to uh, Japan for the Raw, right? No. What year is that? Is that 05? Yeah, I think so. Um, That I, place was packed to the fucking brim. That was crazy. Dude. Maybe we should do that sooner. I don't know. I, I, was it a good show? I don't even know if that was a good show. Maybe it would I don't, suck. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I just remember them being there. There's a big sign in the crowd that says, I am Canadian. <laughs> oh. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Brock. That's nice. Uh, they show the Tron, and I guess they weren't, they hadn't figured it out yet, but Brock's Tron, like, you know, the usual face of Brock just sits on the Tron for a minute before his music starts, so it was kind of awkward. <laughs> Dude, Brock's song here what is the fuck? so based. This remix is Crazy. hard as hell, man. It goes perfect with him doing his little jump and stuff. I'm it like, does. wow, this is good. It I has love this. The, so for those that don't know, Brock uh, hadn't, I don't know if he just hadn't adopted the regular one yet or if this is the OG. This must be the OG, right? I can't, yeah, no way he got a remix this early, right? Uh, actually, okay, I'm checking XY lot. It seems like all of his songs, for the most part, were up at, at this point were called Enforcer. Uh, and what's it in May 13th? Okay, so mm -hmm. this is the sixth version of Enforcer oh by this point. Oh my god. <laughs> he changed it on April 8th, April 22nd, April 29th, May 4th, May 6th, and May 13th. <laughs> so this song They were is... going to make this guy work. This guy was working. So the one that everyone ends up uh recognizing him with is uh it doesn't come around till June 10th. So the Dude, intro, this, is the, this one is crazy. This one's, this awesome. one's hard as hell, man. So yeah, this, this has is the awesome. usual Brock intro. That stays the same throughout, I'm pretty sure. And he keeps that forever. But it goes into a crazier song. Yeah, this is fucking wild. Paul Heyman's I, out here in the 2000 NBA draft suit. <laughs> 
Danny also. like Nathan Fielder when he went to Jimmy Kimmel that one time. Brock's Tron, by the way, he hasn't done enough yet. Even though they show a recap of him fighting the Hardys 700 times, but his Tron is just him hitting moves on Rikishi. <laughs> Dude, the F5 on Rikishi is brolic, It is man. awesome, yeah. But I feel like he had hit the John on Mark Henry by this point, and he's beat the Hardys 400 times. Has he smashed the fuck out of them? Have they, like, beat him up with the chair yet? Yes, I think that's happened already. Okay. Is that yeah. how this even started? They were like, let's just keep this going <laughs> I, think, after I that. think they just ran that for a while. Whoa, this is pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Um, Huge Batista chance? Is this what was going okay. on? I thought that as well, but I don't I don't want you to pass over Matt Hardy's glow-in-the-dark jacket here. <laughs> yeah, the Ultimate way. Warrior jacket. <laughs> he, Matt Hardy was doing glow-in-the-dark before Jeff? I guess so. What the fuck? Yeah, That's I didn't know that either. Crazy. Uh, this is a tag rules handicap match. Um, I think you're right, Batista Chance. I think there was also Goldberg Chance. Oh, you know what? I don't think it was Batista Chance. There was Goldberg Chance, and then I thought it was Batista. I think it was Go Leafs Go is what they were chanting. What? Yeah. Go Leafs Go? Yeah. Oh, the playoffs. Are just How's your team there. doing against the <laughs> We'll yeah, find Carolina. out later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started on one of my favorite sports. Huh? <laughs> Dude, Lesnar is a charismatic seller here like crazy. Like he hasn't dialed in like that he is like the mega beef stick no. crazy dude yet. Yeah. So like his selling is like he's popping up for Jeff Hardy. He's like a cartoon character. Jeff You're Hardy's right. kicking him in the gut. He's popped up crazy style. Like he is. This is I remember this this Lesnar, like where he's catching on. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um you could tell this guy something was going on awesome. here with this guy. Yeah. He's, yeah, like when I was when I was growing up, I thought this dude was the shit. I hell was, yeah! I guess maybe I was just so influenced so easily by like, oh, he's dominating the Hardy Boys. Yeah, he's also <laughs> gigantic. Like, I mean, we'll, uh, you know, later he's a part of uh, another match, but you can see him standing next to anybody out there, and he is a fucking just crazy looking are, guy. Uh, it's insane. His traps are crazy. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, this is like a once, and you know what, man? Uh, this is like a once in a lifetime guy. Yeah, um, Lesnar's one of the greatest ever that's ever yeah, wrestled. Yeah, easily, right? I mean, he still. So yes, Heyman is out here with him, screaming, "You are the next big thing!" And Jr. says, "Heyman is a hemorrhoid on the face of life." <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say it like that? he is a hemorrhoid? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Paul. Fuck you and die. <laughs> Dude, the uh, Lesnar, the next big thing, was the coolest nickname ever. I don't know how. I, I wonder how different things would be if that wasn't his nickname. Cause that, yeah, I don't like, know. I haven't thought about it like that. That solidified but... him as that, right? Like, yeah, I think he, so. He would have got that was there. The name but ever. It's, yeah, I, yeah. I, usually, I usually hate the future of Me the too. business. I hate the that The chosen shit. one, even though yeah. that was cool for Jarrett. I don't know. But it, Jarrett... Yeah, it was cool for Jarrett because he was, that was a way different <laughs> Jarrett scenario. Jarrett was also 20 years in at that point. <laughs> Jarrett was 33. <laughs> <laughs> He was self-appointed chosen one, but yeah, this is way cooler. Uh, yeah, yeah, having the next big thing as your name, and like, I don't even know how old Lesnar. He was like in his early twenties here. He was uh, sure, yeah, yeah. This, I can't like. There's something. This guy being in his early twenties and looking like this doesn't like compute to me. That's like just. Yeah, he was 24, 25 here. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, shit, man. Um, the Hardys are trying. They are trying against this dude. They get him down for a little bit too. Yeah. Um. They get heat on him for a minute, but when Lesnar comes back, yeah, Lesnar comes back. He is beating the dog shit out fucking, of these dudes. Uh, Jeff goes for his jawbreaker. Brock's not really used to this yet. <laughs> so, You've never seen this move. <laughs> Brock, Brock is, you know, Jeff does the sit down on his ass jawbreaker. Well, Brock is dropping to a knee repeatedly, and Jeff is getting frustrated. <laughs> and finally gets it on the third one, though. He like pops a good whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I mean, great fucking. I mean, there was nothing this guy wasn't doing that was fucking awesome. Even now, and this is he like was trying really not hard. even a year yeah. in. I don't think, right? Um, I guess not. Yeah, yeah, I guess not. That's weird. Uh, that's actually crazy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he came in, he won King of the Ring. Did he pretty win King quickly? Of the Ring? Yeah, he yeah he did win King of the Ring very very quickly. Was, yeah, uh, yeah. There's some. I remember a match with RVD specifically. That was the I finals, think. I think. Yeah, that was uh, that was good. Yeah. RVD was very good in 2002 also. He also probably should have been champion way sooner, but you know. Well, you know, when you got this guy, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely wasn't having RVD win King of the Ring over Brock. No fucking way. Yeah. Um, the Hardys hit the leg drop splash combo on Brock Lesnar here. Well, Jeff hits it. 
<laughs> That's a hard move. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt kind of, I think Brock popped up on the splash and Matt didn't really get the leg drop. So it was, you know, whatever. I can't believe Matt was still even doing the leg drop around 2002. For some reason, I remember him quit doing it. Pretty... Matt's still doing the leg drop today. <laughs> okay. Well, that was crazy. I, this is the go home tour for the You're Hardys. Right. So You're understandable. Right. Uh, Paul Lee pulls the ref out uh, and the ref DQs Lesnar and the Hardys win. Damn it. Uh, this happens a lot <laughs> where yeah. there's like a DQ or a fuck finish or something. A lot of the referee stuff. There's a big sign that says, bring back evil Hogan in the crowd. <laughs> Hogan said, okay. No. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> Soon, dude. <laughs> uh, Lester grabs Jeff, uh, gets him back in the ring, goes for the what? superplex. Yeah, what the fuck? He puts him on top? What are he you said, doing? we're both going to take this shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're going with me. <laughs> cool. uh, Matt then hits him with the twist of fate. Yeah, uh, and Jeff hits the Swanton bomb, and they they both bail, and and the music playing. Lesnar just gets up, man. Yeah, <laughs> Lesnar's holding his Johnson because uh, he got low blowed. Brock, honestly, I I guess I never caught on to how you think he's just a big fan of that, like selling the groin because he always gets low blowed forever. I feel like I feel like that was part of his angle for a bit. Was like the only way I can even stop this dude is with the low blow. Like, and it was, was Undertaker doing it, kicking <laughs> 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 him with the balls. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Uh, That's definitely one way to do it. Heyman says, cut the freaking music. Stop the music. He says, uh, as the agent of Brock Lesnar, I challenge you to a rematch, a handicap match at Judgment Day. And the Hardys accept immediately. There is no concerns here. They said, oh, hell yeah, let's do it. Let's fucking yeah, go. Yeah, Hardy said, yeah, come on. I'm, a, I'm in the match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on now. And Heyman says, <laughs> at Judgment right, Day. Well, Heyman looks at him and says, all right, fine. I got one better. They already said, okay, <laughs> this was already... We are fine with the match. We signed the match. <laughs> this is good. I like this. <laughs> Heyman says, I'm going to negotiate against myself. No, you don't got to do that. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> no Jeff way. Jeff already said, no, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> who no, who are you? you. <laughs> uh, he says, you want to be in a tag... You want it to be tag team specialists? Well, I, ta I challenge you to a Judgment Day match to fight Brock Lesnar and his tag team partner, me. Me. <laughs> Me, me, and then it cuts back to Matt, and Matt goes, "Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm in. <laughs> Come on now, I'm you in the match. Judgment Day. It was Matt a lot Hardy. cooler when Heyman wasn't in the match for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> okay. I'll bring my big jacket. <laughs> it's glowing. I'm glowing. Uh, we go backstage. Big Show and X Pac are chilling backstage. They're in Flair's office. X Pac is holding the cane mask, which is this is uh, the NWO, by the way. Yes, the NWO is <laughs> Ric Flair, Big Show, and Hogue and X Pac. What the fuck is happening here? This, this is the okay. NWO. This is I'm going to because I I don't remember this at, at all. So maybe hopefully someone because I'm not looking it up. So hopefully someone can explain <laughs> this to me. Was Flair? in the nwo here or is he just in charge but also like working with the nwo because it feels like the second one well he's the, you know half owner he's the consortium <laughs> sure because later spoilers he get, he adds somebody to the nwo how does he have this jurisdiction <laughs> i don't understand for you know the person that he asked the nwo later yes i uh also I swear confusing he, yeah i uh, did I swear I remember him coming out in NWO gear. Maybe it was in the he video does. game. He does. Oh, he does. Okay. Event, not, not here, but like, I think after. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, cause I looked it up. He's not like in any, you know, how Wikipedia has like, oh, the list of every NWO member ever. Flair is not on that. So I think it's more Flair is just in charge and the NWO are working for or with him. Uh, He's like, it, yeah, it, it definitely feels like. Flair is in the NWO here, though. <laughs> yeah, the uh, WWE NWO doesn't have Ric Flair in it from okay. what it's listed. So they were just associated then. Right. right. He was okay. trying to inject yeah. a lethal dose. That's right. <laughs> With, his lethal dose was Big Show and <laughs> X-Pac. <laughs> And the member he got later. And he night. fired Crazy. Scott Hall. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, you know what? Let's talk about that. So, yeah, because it's right here. Um, yeah. Yeah. So X Pac's sitting there with Kane's mask. Uh, <laughs> Ric Flair is here. Awesome. Uh, Flair says it's a new era because he is here. Uh, Flair says that he fired Scott Hall because he kept losing to Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Flair, then Flair, for some reason, he goes, I fired Scott Hall because he kept losing to Steve Austin. And he goes, and you know what? 
You know, Nash ain't suspended. He's recovering from bicep surgery. So, so Wait, I'll get worked. No, hold on now. <laughs> he got worked, and he, he thought he was suspended. Of course. <laughs> Why did he say that? Yeah, now you know Nash ain't suspended. Of course he's, he's not He's recovering suspended. from bicep surgery. All right. Uh, yeah, Flair go. says that he has an announcement tonight about a new member in the NWO. So, just to note here, X-Pac and Big Show both don't know who the member is. And also, the member joining the NWO doesn't know who the member is. Because <laughs> he said, he, he, he said, I'm announcing who the member is. It's such a big deal. He doesn't even know. Nobody knows except Flair who's joining the NWO, not even the NWO. He doesn't know. <laughs> X-Pac and Big Show are the only members left in the NWO currently. None of this. <laughs> I don't really know what the plan was here. Um, I This felt like they needed something. Like they, Why couldn't he just have joined? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> when it, what, what, it, we're in May right now on this yes, show? Yes. Okay, so the NWO is over on July 15th. Well, that's when Nash blows his shit out, isn't it? Or the week after he blows his shit out? And then he's oh, done. wow. Yeah. I I actually don't know. I'm pretty sure there's like a six or eight man match and Nash tears his quad. And I'm pretty sure like the week after just the, Vince comes out and says the NWO is fucking good done, man. Why? <laughs> I, I you guess had they... X-Pac and Big Show? <laughs> they came up <laughs> on him, man. I don't know. Nash yeah, is was, done. Fuck this, man. Was Kyle Petty, the NASCAR driver, still in the NWO at this point? X-Pac, be... Big Show, and Kyle Petty. <laughs> Dude, Horace Hogan was right there in the uh, way. He was bro. right there. He was waiting, Come on, guys. Bro. Damn. <laughs> Uh, so then we get a video oh, package. Sorry, of, uh, just before that ends, by the way, Flair looks at Big Show and says, we're going to walk out that door right now, Big Show, and we're going to launch it big time. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> big time style. Hell launch yeah, I it agree. big time. That's what we're doing <laughs> That's this weekend at DPW. <laughs> uh, we got a propaganda video for Get the F Out. <laughs> Dude, this one I think I remember. I remember this one the most. Okay, so the, it's, a, the, it's, a, it's a woman trimming the hedges into a WWF logo, but then she cuts the F off and then sets the bush on fire. Lights it on fire. <laughs> yeah, fire, fire. <laughs> Vince, dude, Vince folded so quick. We don't want you to use WWF. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we get a flare in Big Show Town Hall. Forever. We get a forever town hall. This is so long. Flair had so much to say and nothing to say at all. It, it felt like they were trying to like tie together 14 different angles that they just made up six days before the pay-per-view. <laughs> so Flair starts it off and says, are we all in agreement that I am Ric Flair? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, this can't be true. <laughs> <laughs> JR says, well, with what Ric Flair did to Stone Cold last week, I wouldn't mind if Ric Flair got the F out. <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> I I will never get enough of Jr. loving Steve Austin, no matter it's, what. It's great. It's it's so good, especially even when on Steve this Austin show. turned heel. It's just he's still like it, it can't be like this. <laughs> there's there's got to be another way. Not not you, rattlesnake. <laughs> so Flair says I'm a 16 time world champion, and Flair says that makes him 15 times better. Than the Toronto Maple Leafs. No, no. I can't believe it. Not the Maple Leafs. This, <laughs> this is in, in 2002, this is nuclear. This it, is the it, crowd it, goes like it's, nuts. It's five minutes of them booing him. <laughs> like uh, Flair says, uh, he says uh, he go that, before that he goes to say he like the 16 time thing. He says 16 time, and the fans start chanting asshole. And JR says, 16 time asshole. <laughs> That's you. And then he does the Maple Leafs line. They are booing the shit out of him. Uh, Flair says, unlike the Maple Leafs, I don't have little bitty Ty Gomi. I have a real enforcer. Unbelievable. He would talk about Ty Gomi like that, James. Ty Gomi? The player on the team? On the Leafs. Fuck, man. Fuck. I like the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Islanders guy, if you ask me. The crowd chants asshole. And then Flair just sits there and then singles out someone in the crowd. Some girl. Just some girl in the front row. And he just goes, they're talking about your mother, sweetheart. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she probably wasn't even doing anything. Flair is crazy, fuck dude. Fuck you. Fuck you. He, Flair at this point is so fired up. He's like, 
I can't believe I get to work here again. This is yeah, so sick. His hair is crazy here too. He looks like he got electrocuted. <laughs> the way that the way that they're standing with Big Show behind him, and they have this pan <laughs> shot of where like he's standing in front of Big Show, like two feet smaller than yeah. him too. It's great. It's fucking awesome. Um, Flair is pissed because he drafted Steve Austin, and Steve Austin also gave him a Stone Cold Stunner <laughs> in the same night. Now, how would you? How are you expecting, bro? <laughs> I mean, you know you're getting. I mean, that's he not said, it. I, I trusted Austin. What does he do? He stuns me. I try to be his friend and to tell him I like him. And to give him carte blanche on Raw. And what does he do? He screws me. I think Stone Cold, just like all of you, is trash. <laughs> and he says, I can sympathize with what Vince went through trying to deal with that son of a bitch. Austin is a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fed sympathizer. <laughs> Eat your own bitch. <laughs> Get fucked. Uh, Flair says, to hell with Stone Cold. Damn. To hell with you all. And to hell with the Maple Leafs. <laughs> all in the same order. <laughs> He's, Flair says Austin should have gotten on his knees and kissed his ass and been his best friend. Now, why do you think that was going to happen? got on his knees and kissed my ass and kissed my balls. <laughs> Suck my cock and also like me. And now, if you don't do that, I will kill you. <laughs> okay, man. Kiss my ass and kiss my balls just like a Toronto Maple Leafs so, would <laughs> Like John Tavares. Oh, that's a different team. Ty Cummy would fucking kiss my balls. <laughs> Kiss my nature boy asshole, Stone Cold, and also you like me now. <laughs> and while this is going, the longer this goes on, the more Big Show is gritting his teeth and doing strange things with his hands. <laughs> Big, Show, Big Show is, you know, it's funny looking back on it now because they try to play him as like this big fucking bastard. They're trying like to the reheat him here. Dude. They're always trying to reheat him. He's the nicest dude in the world. So it's like funny sitting here. He's like, how do I be evil? Uh, uh, <laughs> ah. oh, kiss my balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh. Flair says Austin will bleed and he will come all in one night pro wrestling style. Can kiss my ass as well. <laughs> kiss my Flair balls, Toronto. <laughs> they also have the same hair as I do. And a robe. <laughs> Flair announces... Uh, as he is the booker, he will book Hulk Hogan <laughs> versus Ric Flair for the for undisputed the, title. The <laughs> and it cuts to a side of Hogan in the crowd. That's crazy. He's like, I can just do this. I'm going to book myself in a fucking undisputed title match. Fuck you, man. That's actually, yeah. Well, that's nuts. This was, uh, this was Eric Bischoff's shit. Like, Flair was the consortium yes. here. Um, but when Bischoff comes in. His reign's on, you know, his reign on, and maybe this is why people got so fucking sick of the, uh, like, like the heel. commissioner sure. heel guy. Yeah. Because it's like handicap match, handicap match, DQ, yeah. booking myself. It's like, it was it was fun the first time around. There's, you got to take I mean, a break. You, there's only a certain amount of time you can do that for before somebody needs to say, well, can, hey, man. <laughs> Stop <laughs> doing that. Yeah, fuck. How do you yeah. have this job? You suck, man. Uh, it shows Hogan arriving to the arena <laughs> on his little motorcycle. He has a black, or sorry, red and yellow uh, Harley, uh, and he comes in wearing a gigantic leather jacket as well as a helmet. And of the course, the hat is crazy. Underneath man. the helmet is, of course, a Hollywood or a Hulk Hogan bandana. <laughs> This is the craziest look I've ever seen in my life. Gigantic jacket, man. He is protected. He, Hulk Hogan, I'm driving safe, dude. <laughs> no points on this Click license, it or brother. Kick it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we have Sean Stasiak versus Eddie Holy Guerrero fuck. for the Intercontinental <laughs> title. This, Sean Stasiak's music hits, and I felt like I had an outer body experience. <laughs> this is the most bass man alive. I he's, could not believe it. He's over here. He has signs. He, so, no, he has signs. The Planet Stasiak thing is super fun. It's a very fun gimmick. He, he's like talking to the his people on Planet Stasiak. <laughs> he's talking to himself in the with sky. With the glasses on. Uh, JR this is said, cool. This, JR said, this boy is crazier than a pet coon. <laughs> <Classic. laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> so they go backstage. Sean Stasiak is in the locker room with the glasses on. <laughs> uh, talking to the Planet Stasiaks or whatever of you call course. them there. Uh, and Eddie Guerrero walks in with the Intercontinental title and he says, who are you talking the to? Stasiaks, dude. <laughs> Sorry. No way. No way. <laughs> Let me tell no you something. No 20% discount for these Stasiaks, brother. <laughs> Full price for Sean, dude. He's a snitch. <laughs> So, Eddie said, who are you talking to, bro? He said, oh, you're on Planet Stasiak, aren't you? I've been wanting to ask you, oh, what kind of vegetation they got out there? And Stasiak looks at him, and Eddie goes, you know, 
Weed. <laughs> <laughs> no, brother. <laughs> it's just, Hogan is not here. <laughs> not on, not on my Stasiac planet, dude. <laughs> That's his planet, Stasiac. <laughs> Hulk Hulk Hogan. Hogan. Hulk Hogan has conquered Planet Stasiac. <laughs> they were cowards. They were cowards. They should have had Hulk Hogan be like the leader of Planet Stasiac or something. <laughs> Second <laughs> This all my Stasiacs, all my Hulkamaniacs, <laughs> my Pasta Maniacs, stand up. We will inhabit this land, dude. <laughs> We're smoking weed, dude. <laughs> Cowards. Click ticket. They were ready for that. Click this motorcycle. <laughs> click it or ticket. Stasiac Wear a says. helmet or die, brother. <laughs> Are you, he says, are you saying that Planet Zaziac functions in an altered state of reality? And then he says, well, it seems like you're on something. And Zaziac takes that personally. He says, you want to fucking fight, bitch? <laughs> are you on drugs? Don't, don't, <laughs> don't you ever say that, brother. <laughs> Yeah, one of, that's one of his many Stasiacs tapping in. <laughs> he says, why don't you fight in the ring tonight? And Stasiac has so many crazy <laughs> facial expressions during this promo. It's insane, man. I feel like they could have went a lot more with this. They they had something very fun here. Yeah. Uh, they had something very fun, and, Stasi and especially for somebody like Stasiac, who... Uh, you know, they could have very easily not, he could have very easily not been over at all. Uh, but you know, you know, he's WCW. Piece he might've been WWF before, but he's a WCW. He was now, meat so. in the WWF, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> My meaty ass. <laughs> <laughs> Meteora, dude. <laughs> dude they could, yeah, they could have done a lot of fun stuff. Plan Stasiak opened up like 20 doors. I guess maybe they just weren't, there's other shit. They had RVD and Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, and you think they wanted to invest anything? They were they just gave them this stupid ass gimmick and wanted to make fun of them, and then they got over. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I appreciate exactly what it was. He just got over yeah. with it. Fuck. <laughs> make him look like a fucking idiot. Look, talking to himself, and oh, what the fuck? <laughs> the sunglasses is did it. <laughs> yeah, spike your stupid ass hair. Yet yeah, get an extra tan. Look like a hot dog for me. <laughs> And then he just remembered Hulk Hogan does all of this. So he said, oh, fuck. <laughs> that looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so Eddie Eddie is here and he, he is so much swagger, bro. He's crazy. Yeah, he it's, is it, this was actually good because Eddie was very, very cool when they were trying to play up at Stasiak. not cool at all. Yeah. So Eddie looked fucking great here. He Eddie, La Latino to heat theme, which is fucking so fucking good. Uh, he just has crazy, just dripping, just charisma. This guy's awesome. And he had the oval belt. Yes, yes. Intercontinental which champion. Which looked great. Here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Stasiak's the one that challenges Eddie. Uh, and he says he's going to smoke his ass. <laughs> RVD comes out, by the way, and his RVD shirt, which I guess I just forgot about, that the back of it just says, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Good gimmick. Cool. Uh, Rob Van Dam comes out here. He grabs, he does not join commentary. <laughs> yeah, that's so crazy. That was, must have been a, uh, a direct point. Don't you let him fucking talk. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't want to anyway. Talk to who? So he grabs a chair and then takes it over to the hard cam side and <laughs> Watches the match with just, no commentary. Just sits on hard cam's side. Drinking Universe a bottle of water. Style. Yeah. Uh, JR says, Stasiak is a good athlete. He's just goofier than a pet bug. <laughs> Whatever that They were just means. like, just call him dumb. Just call you know, him dumb. If Sean Stasiak got hit by the Hulkamaniac truck, that'd be fucking fantastic. <laughs> Run him over with that motorcycle right now. So Stasiak. Die. <laughs> Die, Sean Stasiak. <laughs> Why don't you come back and kiss Ric Flair's balls in his ass? <laughs> <laughs> if you're so cool. <laughs> Joe, Joe is crazy, man. No, it's <laughs> just as not the Texas rattlesnake. That's why I don't care. <laughs> that, was, that was Flair's whole run as the consortium was you will kiss Flair's balls. <laughs> Well, Vince already had to kiss my ass thing, probably. He had to step it up. <laughs> he had the raw version of, of kiss my ass. He had to kiss my balls club. <laughs> Write that down, actually. <laughs> so raw and SmackDown style. That's crazy. Oh, uh, so, Rob, so you're watching the match. Yes. Whoa, this is good. Whoa, Stasiac Planet style. Yeah. <sighs> 
Sean Stasek does a gut wrench throw. He's actually good here too. And Eddie said, "Yeah, you're done." Yeah, sorry about One that. One brain, bu- brain buster. <laughs> Fucking frog splash. JR calls it the five star frog splash because they're, you know, going for the frog splash angle here. And uh, I love where they do the finisher angle. I do too. I feel like that doesn't happen at all anymore, does it? I think they did. Did they, did they do Edge and Reigns? Uh, pro- did they do anything with, with Roman spear? and Goldberg with the spear? Probably, I, th- right? I do remember them in some recent history okay, doing something, sure. but it, it, yeah, that is it awesome though. It ain't Eddie Guerrero and Rob Van Dam. No, it's not. No, 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 you're right. Everyone talked about that when we were yeah, growing man. up. Everyone talked about the Eddie and RVD thing. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so Eddie hits the one suplex, hits the frog splash, <laughs> and that's it. Sorry and about fuck that. you, man. <laughs> that's where man, you Sean Stasiak sucks fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> He we is should, bad. We should fire this guy, actually. I'm considering uh, talking to somebody about this. You should fire him and kiss my balls. <laughs> the JR? Kiss my balls club? <laughs> you know, I think he's crazy enough to do it. <laughs> Sean Stacey like he's just trying Move his hardest to the music to get this job. And and he's just music. trying so hard. <laughs> I really need this job. I really need this money. Yeah. I do. I need this money. Yeah, job right. To John. pay my bills. <laughs> Electric bill. Uh, so, uh, all right, this is real weird. First off, uh, so Eddie Guerrero... Wins. And RVD yeah. just gets in and starts whooping his ass. <laughs> RVD starts kicking the shit out of him, <laughs> whooping kick. his ass. Yeah. The crowd's not reacting at all to this. That's the whole show. Yeah, that was really weird. There were 17,000 people here and <laughs> just nothing. Well, if you're not Hogan show. or Austin, they don't give a fuck, man. Go home. Yeah, that was an indicator, I think, yeah. <laughs> of what's happening here. Um, I don't think anyone wanted to call it the WWE either. <laughs> I know, I know for a fact my dad and his friends still do not call it the WWE. My dad hated that shit too, I think, actually. He's, he will never, ever... I think to it, this day, my dad still says that's bullshit. <laughs> my, my, I remember specifically, I think because they just maybe didn't... Either they didn't pay attention because whenever they watched wrestling, they were just drinking. Yeah. Or uh, they just stopped watching. But yeah, he said, you still doing that WWF stuff? I said, yeah, you damn right I am. <laughs> <laughs> WWF. We're taking it to another level too, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> uh, so RVD's here. He kicks him. Crowd doesn't care. Uh, Guerrero cares though. He's this fucking is, pissed. He's super pissed. He's RVD. Get your ass back in here. Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a pretty good line right there. <laughs> I'm gonna show you whose frog splash is better and who is the better wrestler here in the WWF. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Who do you think you are, R V D? What the, the D? fuck is happening here? <laughs> and Rob's like, who am I? Who am I? Oh, he's not on the oh. mic, by the way, doing this. Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's real stretching out. Yeah, you. Who are you? Who are you? Me? Who am I? Me? Oh, you talking funny. to me? Are you? Oh, I think he's talking to me, guys. <laughs> Look at me. I'm. Rob Van <laughs> Dam, and finally the crowd fucking wakes up. Yes. I was like, "Oh, thank God!" Um, <laughs> Eddie didn't know the name of the company or the guy that he's wrestling. R V D. D. <laughs> cool. Uh, we go backstage. Coachman trying to get an interview with Stone Cold Steve Austin. What a dumb idea! This never works out, Coachman. Ever for any of them in the history of pro wrestling, especially <laughs> at the Rock, or just no, stop. Man. Especially if you're the coach, like oh, what the fuck? You are fucked, man. Uh, Deborah says, uh, "Ain't no way. Uh, I can try to get Stone Cold for you if yep. you like." He, uh, you know, no, actually, she's like, "Oh, he wants to talk. I'll go get him. You just stay right here." Which really, coach should have realized this was a fucking bad idea. This is a setup. It's a really. setup. Yeah. <laughs> Every time it plays the Raw theme backstage during this stuff. Oh yeah, it's not dead. Yeah. I feel like it's play- I'm playing like a game. I feel like I'm playing like a video game or something. Well, I, I think... Uh, was it one of the games where you would go through the backstage and it would play the music? Or is that just... I don't know. That's what I was... Is that Here I Comes was, the Pain, maybe? I, I, it might be Here Comes the Pain, because I was thinking to myself, as I'm watching this, I got like mad flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. this feels like a video game scene or something. Like, 
Coachman has to get Stone Cold, so it loads Stone Cold into the screen, and oh, then they start the promo. Here. I'm pretty screen. sure it is Here Comes the Pain, because the cutscenes would play the song of your brand. Like, you would do, you know what, it would be like the, the like, your, the POV thing, and you're fucking, uh, Been like, long time. Eddie Guerrero is gonna punch you in the face because you, or yeah. something, uh, or Austin, yeah. you know, Austin is offering you, or Deborah offers you cookies, and Stone Cold shows up and says, what, what? I'm pretty yeah, sure one time where I was doing one where, like, is playing during tri- that. There's one where Trish comes up to you or something yeah. backstage. Uh-huh. Um, and for some reason, it like loaded Taz. I think I had just some, <laughs> something fucked up. So Taz was like being all sexy towards me. Uh, <laughs> it was crazy. Or you play like the definitive edition without like the memory card or something. Yeah, yeah. I had like the wrong memory card in or something. So Taz came up to me. Hey, hey baby. brother. <laughs> <laughs> you want to kiss my You want balls? some stress? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, man. Stop, bro. But yeah, no, that was Here Comes the Pain. That's fucking, that's true. Yeah, that does feel like this too. And uh, Coach, we come back from commercial. Coach does get to interview Stone Cold outside his locker room. And Coach says, uh, we heard from Ric Flair earlier tonight. And Austin says, what about Ric Flair? What about Ric Flair? Dude. What about Ric Flair? This was, (laughs) holy fuck, man. He dresses him down for five minutes. This was full. We are very full into Stone Cold. What now? Oh this my is god! The what era? Yeah, this is crazy. It's man. Austin says, "Uh, did he say something important? He's out there running his mouth like what? a jackass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? Because he is a jackass. What? He says he's my friend. What? He tried to be my friend. What? I'm supposed to like him. What? We're supposed to be buddies. What? He's a jackass. <laughs> what? You understand me?" What? I said he's a jackass. What? You think I trust Ric Flair? What? No, I don't. What? Are you understanding me because you're not saying a damn thing? <laughs> what? Co- Coach says, uh, you know, you, a lot of, you know, you got a lot to say about your match this Sunday. And Austin says, what about Judgment Day? What? You got a problem with Stone Cold Steve Austin <laughs> facing Ric Flair in the big show? I ain't got a problem with that at all. You got a tall son, bitch, and you got a bleach blonde, blue haired son of a bitch. Blue haired son of a bitch is what he blue said. Blue bleach, blair <laughs> hair. You got blue bitch. hair, blue pubes on that son of a bitch. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that calls himself the dirtiest player in the game? Big deal. He makes a title match with Hulk Hogan. What? Does he deserve a title match? No, he does not. You think I'm going to watch that match? You damn right I am. I didn't expect that. I thought he was going to say no. Yeah, I watch all the matches on this show. I love this show. (laughs) I give advice. What? (laughs) I'm watching all the matches from Crash Holly. What? Just incredible. (laughs) What? (laughs) Sean. Ah, no. Hey, what's in that? I don't think so. That's all I got to say about that. You make me sick. <laughs> With your carcass. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, this says, promo uh, felt like, I felt like I was like, uh, it definitely felt like a I was scene. being That's a good tortured. To... I felt yeah. like I was being tortured. What? It does not stop. It's not Austin's best. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Uh, he says, uh, Ric Flair will find out you do not screw with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Because Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Said so. I'm gonna whoop his Holy. ass and the big show's ass. Thank you. <laughs> he ends with thank you. What the fuck is Holy going on? Holy fuck, here? man. Just yeah. Rough. It's rough. <laughs> it's not as good as we just made it sound. <laughs> uh, so it goes to a pre tape where oh they god. buried Tommy Dreamer. Oh my god. No <laughs> recollection of this. Not a single one. I remember weird Tommy Dreamer gimmick era. I don't remember this, this felt at all. Like, uh, I felt like that was a. I always thought this was like a website only blog thing. Yeah. I didn't know they did videos about it. This is weird. Um, it says the actions you are about to witness are those of Tommy Dreamer and not World Wrestling Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah. For a day real? in the life of Tommy Dreamer. And it's just like candid shots of Dreamer doing weird shit throughout the day, like combing his hair in the bathroom and brushing his dog's teeth and then brushing his teeth with the same toothbrush and like spraying hairspray in his mouth. And then pissing next to people, and then the two time Tommy Dreamer. The one where they, <laughs> well, the, the one where they show Dreamer pissing with people. I almost feel like that might have been real because it's like someone's filming it from underneath a stall. And that's like, a Twitch stream. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds hardcore. <laughs> and he like reaches over with a cup and gets some urinal water and drinks it. And he's like, ah, this is good. 
And that's it the end of the cold. segment. Yeah, it's cold. Ah, that's not hot. <laughs> ah, that's not hot. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay. Um, weird. So there, I don't, yeah, that's Yeah, true. his gimmick is he's a All weird bastard, what and that happens for the rest of his life somehow. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that sticks. Sorry about yeah. that. Uh, we get Terry versus Molly Holly up next. Is I, I'd love to know how many matches Terry Runnels has had at this point. I'm gonna while you talk about that, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take a look at her cage match, see if I get an idea here because yeah. cause they, they imply on commentary that she only is just starting to wrestle now, which I don't think is right, but maybe it is. I, yeah, maybe. Because they say that um, she only just started training because Molly whooped our ass. Uh, Regal is out here, by the way, on commentary. With yeah, uh, Regal's out here. Comes to commentary. He's got the Europeans Championship. Yes. Uh, Regal puts the mic on and King says, Regal, you, ne- you never drink toilet water. <laughs> Regal says, no, Piss. don't think so. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't happen. That had to have happened already, right? That's like a one. He says, I've had some bad tea. Uh, That's what he said. Okay, yeah. there you go. Okay, Terry But the way has... that he reacted to that was great. No, yes. don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he didn't even see the video package before. He has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> So the Molly and Terry match here uh, is not her um, first match. She's had a bunch of matches from 99 to 2000 up to that point. But five matches after that, she never wrestles again. So this is oh. her this is her retirement tour here. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it shows footage of Terry beating Molly Holly in a bikini contest. Just random um, balloons falling from the sky as well. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I think they were supposed to drop those when the... Bikini contest winner won. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Uh, but Molly attacked Terry before the celebration. With a flipper. This was so... This happened so often that this was in the video game of Jerry Lawler. This ah. is Here Comes the Pain of Jerry Lawler picking the bikini contest winner. This happened so often. I don't think there's a single path in that game where you don't get Jerry Lawler bikini contest. Yeah. It's also uh, one in uh, No Mercy, but that's for the women's title, of course. Uh, So the gimmick here is that Molly Holly is a prude. She is not sexy. That is incorrect. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Stay wrong. This was I, nuts to me. The, 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 the whole time I commented, they're trying to tell me that Molly Holly is not beautiful. And I'm just sitting here looking at Molly Holly. <laughs> what the fuck, man? She's got a big ass. Ha ha ha. What the fuck? <laughs> she was Molly fucked up Holly back in, is, man. Like crazy yeah Espe- uh, fucking bro like fucking uh uh holly era of molly holly you know when she was a holly cousin holy yeah. fuck man. yeah no for real i don't know how the hell they her and wcw is crazy too bro yeah these guys are fucking jerk offs uh, uh the crowd chance we want puppies of course they do jr says terry is not a trained grappler like molly holly i don't know if i've ever heard jr say grappler in my whole fucking life <laughs> jr had some crazy lines in this one. <laughs> oh no uh, you're right terry terry does a body slam and jerry goes Wow, she did a body slam. Oh, great wrestling attire, my uh, right. <laughs> Oh Yeah, whoa, come over here and slam me. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh By the way, oh my God, I fucking forgot about this. So they're doing this match, body slam, all that shit. Someone is playing a trumpet. <laughs> the, the whole car. match. I thought <laughs> someone was on the stage. <laughs> like, I thought like, oh, they're making fun of like Molly or something. Yeah, she's like, like shitting you know I mean? and farting or something. Yeah, yeah, I thought they were making fun of her. And then like, no, there was just a... Tuba or something. <laughs> just they don't acknowledge it. It's just constantly this whole match. <laughs> they, they had to find this guy playing the fucking exactly. instrument in the crowd. <laughs> How do you not find him, man? It can't be that fucking hard. Holy shit! It's, I um, was dying though. It just wouldn't stop. I, could, <laughs> I was like, this has got to be an angle, and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. There's no angle. I was like, okay. Uh, Molly hits a lariat here. Look great. Molly's good. She's very good. Um, JR, for some reason, says Terry is not a virgin, by the way. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> great. I, I could tell you that. For sure. He did. He said Terry's not a virgin, by the way. I, know. <laughs> I fucked what her. What do you mean by that? I fucked her, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Terry hits a Frankensteiner in the corner. Uh, Molly hell, kicks man. out at two. Fucking uh, JR. <laughs> JR, man. Does he say something else here? He says something crazy after this. This is the run off the top, right? Yeah, right. Because Molly goes for the Molly around and Terry catches her, and then Rana. Yeah. Jr. says, very descriptively, she wrapped her head, she wrapped her legs around Molly's face and squeezed her thighs and came off the top of the hurricane. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's how he said it. I oh swear. My <laughs> 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 oh my god! 
Ah! That was J.R. Reed's son, actually. He had the, the trumpet. I'm too spanking forgiven. my trumpet. <laughs> um, oh! <laughs> What a weird bastard, man. Oh, my God. Uh, Molly gets a small package and wins. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> Regal, Regal gets in the ring and likes Molly Holly because he is British. He and says, he likes Molly, her. it's good to see a lady who doesn't uh, make, need to make a name for herself by hitching up her skirt and showing her bosoms. And it would be an honor to escort you up the ramp uh, from these loud, skivious Canadians. And they leave together, and Molly Holly joins the Black Bull Combat Club. <laughs> Paste. <laughs> That'd be cool as fuck. Uh, Ric Flair is walking and talking backstage. Tell me you saw what you, you tell me you saw what I saw oh, here. No. Tell what me you I saw what see? I saw here. What did I not see? SpongeBob plush. <laughs> Was there a SpongeBob plush backstage? <laughs> Just set up. It had to be on purpose that the SpongeBob. I plush, didn't see oh that. Oh my god! I'm so glad you caught that. <laughs> Deb caught that, so I'll give it the credit. Oh, uh, shout out Deb. Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. Of course you noticed that. <laughs> yeah, it's Dude, just looking it's out for it specifically. Up, um, yeah, it's fucking unbelievable. I like. Had to go she's like SpongeBob. Was it like I a said, big plush uh not like gigantic but one like spongebob you... points at rick flair yeah <laughs> i said yeah yeah honey sure. yes. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you say <laughs> yeah but no it was like one that you would like kind of like a just a stuffed animal kind of version of it but like blatant mm. as day i was like what the fuck that's so that's funny 2002 spongebob that's cool yeah yeah og uh, Ric Flair versus Hulk Hogan for the undisputed WWE Championship. And I think this is the first time they've ever done this on WWF TV ever. What? This Flair Hogan match? Oh, is it really I the think, first time? I think so. I don't. They uh, ran this a lot in WCW. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I think it might be the first WWF match, though. I think. Well, Flair is. Uh, this is all Flair. Hogan's just there. This Once is, again, this is all just Flair. Exactly like the Sting match, actually. <laughs> yeah, for really. It's just Flair doing all of his shit. Uh, Hogan uh, comes out to, of course, the classic dubbed song of Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No, I got you. This is a crazy. No, <laughs> this is there a crazy is. ass remix. <laughs> it's wow. It's like they fucked up Jimmy Hendrix song. Big style for some reason. He comes out on the motorcycle. He does. I, I'm on my hog, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I ride the cycle around. No one's here, got a bigger dude. hog than me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> With the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> we got safety first. <laughs> Buckle up, dude. <laughs> Hogan and Flair face off in the middle. Uh, Dude, again, how fuck? I can't get over Hogan with the undisputed title. I don't remember it that is at all. So weird, man. Yeah, that's weird, man. It's super weird, and like he has it for a minute too. Uh, I think spoilers. I believe he does drop it at Judgment Day. Uh, who's he drop it to? Taker. Taker. Okay. I think that's right. Um. So yeah, again, Flair just doing all the classics, just bumping like crazy for him. At one point, Flair flips out, grabs a chair. Okay, we have to talk about this, James. What are the rules of this match? Was this... Uh, well, they said it 900 times. This is a no DQ, by the way. Okay, so who knew this? Because the everyone in the ring did not. <laughs> no one in the ring, no one in the match knew it. No one in the crowd everyone, knew. Everyone on commentary knew it. No one in the crowd, nor did no one in the ring, including the referee, know this so is a no DQ. Every match. time something remotely illegal happens on commentary, oh, well, that's okay, because it's a no rules, no DQ match, no, no disqualification. As JR is saying this, the referee is ripping a chair out of Flair's hand, and Flair is chasing him around the ring. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Okay. <laughs> yeah. As this is happening, they're on commentary. Uh, it's just, it's just no DQ. Yes, it is. Of course, it is. Yeah, this is no DQ. Yes. Fucking hell, man. He, go, he comes and keeps saying, "This is no DQ, right?" Yes, this is no <laughs> DQ. <laughs> Dude, Hogan at one point does the violence party. Did you fucking see that? Uh, yes, I wrote that down. Flair chops Hogan in the corner. He no sells backs him out of the corner and violence parties him in the corner. This is crazy. I couldn't believe it. He then does a top rope 10 punch. It's like, whoa, Hogan did it. Motorcycle Hogan's a different dude. Dude, Fla the way Flair was working here, Triple H watched this match and said, I'm going to work exactly like this for the next when 10 I come, years. I'm coming back and this is all I'm doing. <laughs> this is uh, Triple H worked this exact style for like, I don't know most of this era, which at is crazy. At least for all of the world title reign. Yeah, he can't. It's like he came back from that injury, and it's like I'm just gonna work like Flair for now on. Yeah. I swear he just did this. Like, Why not? Turnbuckle, 
uh, run away, fucking back out to the corner. Eye like, poke. he would do this a lot. Yeah, Big yeah. Irish whip guy. Like, yeah. he'd do a lot of Irish he would whip take stuff. The, he would do the flare thing, except he would go to the floor. He did, yeah, right. Instead of dropping down yeah, to the rink, he'd, drop, his, he'd push is, out of the floor. I think that's the thing he tore his shit up in Saudi Arabia with, wasn't it? Is, is that right? I think that's what it was, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what that is, yeah. When uh, it was like the, the fucking Sean, Triple H, and Kane Taker match. And like, oh, I never actually watched that match. You should watch. We should watch that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I guess we will. <laughs> now it's time. <laughs> Uh, catch it on our Patreon. Uh, so yeah, uh, Flair throws, or sorry, Hogan throws Flair in the buckle. Flair cannot do the up and over that he usually does and falls right on his head on the fucking canvas. Yeah, that's fucking for true. Uh, Flair eye pokes Hogan, but it's okay. There's no disqualification. Uh, Hogan is choking Flair blatantly in front of the referee. The referee gets pulled in, I guess, by Flair. Flair low blows him with the referee distracted. So they went another way to do a distraction spot for the low blow. But that is okay because there's no disqualification. <laughs> they say this again this on commentary. There's no DQ, by the way. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Did Flair, it wasn't Flair the one that made the match. <laughs> Flair, Flair, yeah, I don't, the ref could have DQ'd him and be like, nah. <laughs> yeah. He, he could have pinned him. He could have been like, nah. I don't yeah, think so. No way. I don't know how Flair didn't come out of this the winner, but whatever. Uh, uh, Flair uh, throws himself uh, into the barricade without Hogan throwing him into it, Christian style. And Hogan then does it after. Uh, and also, the trumpet is still here. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Beast. They haven't found him yet. He's moving. Uh, Flair pokes Hogan in the eye again. Once again, they reiterate that it is no disqualification, no DQ. Still. Yeah. I mean, you know. Eventually, Hogan is fucking hulking up, big boot, leg drop, one, two, X-Pac gets in the ring and jumps Hogan to stop the count. Thankfully, it is no disqualification, and now the referee remembers this, <laughs> because X-Pac is here, and he's beating up Hogan. Hogan punches X-Pac. X-Pac takes crazy bump here. Uh, big Show gets in, jumps Hogan, and who makes the save, James? Bradshaw! The one and only! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. He does the craziest slide into the ring I've oh, ever seen. Oh, yeah. He just you know, goes, whoop, stands there for a second, and then just whomps Big Show out of the ring. Get out Close of here. Clothesline over the top. That was sweet. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, he chases Xbox through the crowd, and then here comes all just don't go. <laughs> Huge pop for Austin. This was actually very cool. I love this. Yeah, Flair is setting up for the figure four. Austin comes down the ramp with that, you know, this... I, I feel like if I say the stone cold smirk, you kind of understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but he's like, it's not. Yeah. A, <laughs> he comes they got a the, good shot of it on the way out. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm going to fuck this son of a bitch up. <laughs> Flair spins around for the figure four. Austin flips him off. Stunner the Flair. <laughs> Flair is out. Austin's fucking happy. Hogan is taunting, preparing for the leg drop. JR is losing his mind. They want the leg drop, Hogan. Give it to him, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Did he already? Whatever. He already hit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did it earlier. Hogan hits the leg drop and gets the win and then drives off with his motorcycle. <laughs> Hogan, dude, all right. So Hogan's fucking Flair gets Hogan down, puts him in the figure four. The the just how perfect this was. He's Flair spins around and there's Stone Cold Stunner. It's so Boom, fucking bam. good, it's, yeah. Beautiful. What do you yeah. think of Hogan's figure four? By the way, I forgot to say that Hogan puts it in a figure. Yeah, four. he does put the figure four in, or at least what he thinks is the figure four. It was Shawn Michaels style. It was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I can't believe that they just had Flair versus Hogan undisputed title on a Raw. That's like yeah, before crazy. the pay per view. Yeah, they just said here you go. Yeah, whatever. Nuts. Uh, Pre tape. Two people having sex in a car to sexual chocolate. Dude, I was so confused. I was like. Is this a hype video to bring back sexual chocolate Mark Henry? And I just wiped this from my memory? No. It is WWE propaganda. <laughs> this was unbelievable. What? I don't remember this. They are two people fucking in the back of a car. Two the, people fucking to yeah. sexual chocolate playing in the background. And the windows are fogged up. And somehow uh, one of the fogged up windows says WWF on it. How do they do that? I don't know. They were fucking WWF style. <laughs> <laughs> the ridge is on the logo and everything. This and is then fucking nuts. she uses her toes to roll down the window. Close that window. You're letting all the stank out. So who does she look back at? Is that us? We're, she, we did this? Like we're standing I there watching uh... them fucking? Yeah, WWF style. <laughs> <laughs> well, it rolls back up and it's WWE. How'd that happen? They took the, the, the F out. They're effing. 
They are effing. No, they They're took it out. out. The effing is happening, brother. No, you can't take it out. There's no F because they're they're not not there is no E-ing going on. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. This was fucking nuts. I couldn't believe what we looked Just at. Just straight up fucking on the commercials. All right, true. Uh, we go backstage. Ric Flair is pissed Holy. backstage at Big Show and X Pac. He is fucking flipping out, throwing drinks. He's yelling at them. You can't believe. Uh, Big Show says, uh, or maybe one, one of them says, I can't believe in it. And Flair says, You can't believe it. What about me? <laughs> You're a damn giant. <laughs> Holy fuck. For some he reason, flips X- a little desk. He flips the desk. X Pac says, You should be champ. <laughs> uh, Flair says, Austin. Cost me my 17th world title. Bradshaw, <laughs> now you got me pissed. <laughs> <laughs> they go, what about Austin? Bradshaw, I want him to, uh, dead or alive. <laughs> Kill him. Kill Bradshaw. You're going to be a handicap match against Big Show and X-Pac. And bring him dead or alive. And Austin, I'll tell you about Austin, the son of a bitch. <laughs> It'll be a lumberjack match tonight. The ring surrounded by men handpicked by the nature boy. And Xbox says, oh, yeah, <laughs> keep it up. And Flair says, when you get in the ring, I will introduce the newest member of the NWO. And you son of a bitch, we will have your ass tonight. And then the promo ends with Ric Flair starting to beat the fuck out of the big show. <laughs> he's chopping the shit out and grabbing by the chin. He's going to chop him some more. Like, what the hell is going on? He's just whooping big show's ass. Big show's like, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, woo. yeah okay. Keep it up. <laughs> That's Bradshaw. I'm pissed. <laughs> Uh, we go to Trish Stratus and Bubba Ray Dudley versus Jazz and Steven Richards. A match that is for the WWE Hardcore Championship and the Women's Championship, but it's not... Double style, but not. But not, because whoever gets the pin gets the appropriate title, but the men can't pin the women and vice versa. It's actually our gimmick match that we wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, Jazz blinded Bubbier last week with a fire extinguisher. Um, Bubbier couldn't see, so then he powerbombed Trish through a table by accident, allowing Stevie Richards to win the match. That's such a good... I love that wrestling trope. Just all blind, you're blind. I'll grab yeah. whoever I go, Whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, Stevie Richards is shredded. He's he looks fucking great. Super good shape. Very strange pants. UFOs, but great yeah, shape. Yeah, this is awesome. This <laughs> yeah. is very 2002. <laughs> Bubba is in glasses and a bandana. <laughs> Crazy. Stevie bastard. Richards looked like he could be in uh, Alien Ant Farm, that band. Oh my God, yes. Annie, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that a great that out the whole album was great the anthology album that one album did they do anything after that they had to have but I yeah feel like yeah they I were still a band the a movies years ago. that was yeah, awesome the movies too. solid yeah, yeah, yeah that was that crazy one um that's like uh that by the way that that music video is like that time in like a nutshell if you go back and watch that movies music video oh my god that feels very that era uh, I get very nostalgic when I watch it. Listen to Alien and Farm if you have. It's haven't. crazy they got popular for the Smooth Criminal cover. Yeah, that's true. If uh, for anyone, I think I'm pretty sure Wish is in a Tony Hawk game. For anyone that might know that more from that, very solid album. That band was. Uh, they were fun. Honestly, pretty underrated. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Shout out Alien Ant Farm. Yeah, come out. <laughs> yeah, come on. You, you gotta, if you come out, you gotta have that same haircut where you had a big line shaped in the middle of your fucking head. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, <laughs> you're awesome. right. That was so sick. They did the smooth criminal thing in like a ring. I remember the music video being in a ring. Was it a ring in a pool? It was a ring like or was it in both? the yard. Oh, maybe I'm, like, I'm thinking of some 41 that did the pool one. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Uh, the ring I did. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's sick. Yeah, uh, yeah. So sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. No problem. <laughs> 2002 style, you know. How it is, <laughs> you got, I mean, you know, you gotta do, you gotta do. Um, Stevie Richards out here, his lat sp- spread is nuts. He looks fantastic. Yeah, he's great um, here, man, and he's always getting his his, his ass whooped. Is really what's yeah, happening big here. style. Yeah. Uh, Bubbier picks up Trish and Gorilla presses her over the fucking whole ring from the apron to the floor on Steve her. and Jazz. Yeah, it been funny if it's just to the floor, but Steve, yeah, oops, sorry Steve about that. and Jazz were, were there. <laughs> Bubba's whooping Stevie's ass as well. Uh, but yes, they explain that uh, Bubba can't win the women's title here because Trish has to be in the ring when Jazz is and vice versa. But that also gets thrown out the window because it's also a hardcore match. This is no DQ, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a hardcore match or not. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know what's going on. But they're just like, look, we got to have more titles on the show. I don't know. Yeah, it's fuck like it. Done. Whatever. Um, Bubbier gives a splash in the corner to Jazz and Stevie Richards. Oh, my God. Uh, Stevie falls first and then Jazz falls on Steven's balls. Cock as well. Uh, Trish then tries to get a trash Holy can over the ropes. A bunch of but weapons. But she just can't fucking get that trash can over <laughs> she, the ropes. It's she, not happening. Was, she throws like two trash cans in and they both bounce off the top rope and almost fucking brain her in the head. <laughs> She's going to get that in there eventually. Come on, man. 
Uh, Trish hits Jazz in the head with the trash can. That was good. And then hits Steven in the balls with a stop sign. That's awesome. Bubba then uses a hockey stick and slams it onto Steven's balls that had the stop sign on top well, of it. Well, because he's in Canada. You just, this guy's balls are inert. <laughs> Jazz, his balls. <laughs> Uh, Justin, yeah, no, Sean. Kiss him. Justin Incredible <laughs> is now here. <laughs> hey, why don't you kiss those things? <laughs> Justin Incredible is now here. Justin Incredible he, in long tights. This is the worst timeline of Justin Incredible. He's here now, looking like a regular dude, and he hits him with a kind of like a. <laughs> is that horse? <laughs> he hits him with a kind of stick. <laughs> I guess the hardcore title at this point is still twenty four seven. Yes, so it is. Both titles on the line and hardcore title is still 24 7. I love, by the way, I'm glad that they, I feel like they, they never dropped this or lost sight of this, but it was, if you wanted to have your own match, you had to bring your own referee. So Just Incredible comes out, own referee, hitting <laughs> Bubba with a Singapore cane, super kick Stevie, uh, and then I think he goes to pin him, but Crash comes out with his own referee. There's three referees in the ring now. <laughs> you know what, man? As much as I like the 24 7 rule, I think it was. I think it would have been cool for them to uh, keep the title around and just drop that. But I yeah, guess they, they kind of dropped the hardcore thing altogether here soon. I think WWF hardcore is actually like a really underrated match style. You know what I mean? Like obviously, as a big death match head, like I like my shit. But I think WWF hardcore was simple and and like fun. Yeah, I think so too. There, there was like a they had to think. Because there was like, uh, you know, things in place where you couldn't do X, Y, and Z. Right. It wasn't like so hack and slash. Like, they were setting up spots. Right, they had to work around it. I thought yeah, that was cool. I did too. Um, but yeah, they did move away from the style as they, you know, especially 2006, they, you know, time, well, to, headshots time and, to really get yeah, that shit out yeah, of here. You know about that. Uh, Crash Holly is now here, uh, throws Just Incredible out of the ring. Walk Crash off. hits Steven and then goes for a pin, uh, but Justin <laughs> breaks it up with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> and then taunts. <laughs> Uh, Bubbier then hits Justin with the guitar Dude. with a ton of powder. God damn! There's uh, we've talked about it before, but there's no there, there's few weapons that I enjoy more than guitar loaded with powder. This felt weird here. The end of this match here, yeah. Uh, Stevie tags in Jazz and then kind of runs away. <laughs> they just he just leaves. I'm done. I don't want to be here. Uh, and then <laughs> Jazz and Trish are like working, but I I was like, is Jazz hurt here? Because I feel like this match like slows down significantly. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe they had to. They were probably a little blown from maybe. the shit before. It could have been because it was like I was like Jazz was kind of like I don't know maybe she was just selling or something. I don't even know what fucking happened to her for her to sell like this. But I was like, oh, what happened here? Um, so yeah, Jazz and Trish uh kind of do duck under spots a couple times. Trish Sweet. eventually catches her with the uh, Stratisfaction uh, and wins the women's title. Bubba does not win the hardcore title. Uh, Bubba, can I go thought Bubba won the hardcore <laughs> no, title sorry too. About that. No. No, <laughs> that's Trish. All right. <laughs> if I, I mean, if I'm in that match, I'd be. If I'm Bubba, I would have picked her ass. Up. I ain't leaving this ring. I'm I mean, winning the hardcore title. In theory, he could have still won the hardcore title. It's twenty four seven. Yeah. Why didn't he do it on the ramp? I think Stevie ran away. He got away. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, that makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw him at the top of the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> he was taunting. Uh, Trish says, Trish smacks Bubba. And breaks and the says, mic. Yeah, breaks the mic and then it works again. Get the tables. <laughs> so Bubba sets up a table. Trish loads Jazz up in the corner on Bubba's shoulders. And Bubba fucking sit out powerbomb through the fucking table. And Jazz is fucking dead. Holy this is the Dixie Carter shit. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, it's exactly like that. That Dixie Carter one got a gigantic... Like, that's maybe an all-time TNA pop for her getting put through a table. People were waiting for 20 years yeah, for that she shit. wasn't even there. And they were still yeah, they were still waiting for it. <laughs> that was in New York, Big too, moment. which was a cool, like, venue. Uh, yeah, what venue was that? I don't Do think it remember? was Hammerstein, or I don't think it was no. Manhattan Center either, right? but it looked similar. Yeah. Yeah, it looked cool. Yeah, well, that, yeah. I remember that was a big that was a big uh they did a big selling tour point there, for them. Right? They were like, Yeah, we're running fucking in New York. Yeah, Let's that was cool it. as fuck. And that series of shows was really good too. Like that was a good era. I don't think anyone was watching though. Was that Destination America? I could have been. I think it might have been. Yeah, yeah, sadly. Uh it shows a graphic of Stone Cold Steve Austin versus <laughs> NWO guy. <laughs> so this is a fucking like bubble boy, not bubble boy. What was the bubble in SpongeBob called? Like the big fucking bubble. It was like a uh, bubble. Fuck. Now you th made me think it's bubble boy. It, it might like, be bubble boy. Ah, 
fuck, I don't remember. Either way, it's that with an NWO shirt on. <laughs> That's just what this graphic is. It's vacant. Bubble as Buddy. Yes, That's what it is. Bubble, Bubble Buddy. buddy. It was, it's Bubble yeah. Buddy in the NWO <laughs> taking on Austin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they had a moving and shit, too. That was yeah, I know. Uh, we go backstage. Undertaker is in the hallway with Coachman. Undertaker who... smashing the back of his head against the wall repeatedly. Concrete wall. <laughs> yeah. It's really Coachman good. said, well, what about the bike? What about what did Hogan do to the bike? You know, yeah. What are your, can we get your thoughts on what Hogan did to your bike? And Taker doesn't answer. And Coach says, well, any, you know, any reaction to what Hogan did to your bike on, on the show? And Taker looks at him and he gets in Coach's face and he walks off. I feel like he was walking forever. <laughs> he walks down a long hallway to get out of here. I thought they were gonna, like, I was like, oh, he's going to go into the darkness of the hallway. No, he opens the exit door and leaves. <laughs> yeah, he just leaves through the door. Okay, cool. Dude, JR says, there's a taker is sheathing. <laughs> <laughs> Lawler said, Copium ta taker. <laughs> Omega law. Omega law taker. Pot friend. Pot friend. Pot friend taker. <laughs> Lawler says, taker's bike was $40,000 and Hogan flattened it. Oh, huh. sorry about that. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, Vince has never paid anyone $40,000. <laughs> Not now. Uh, it shows the Judgment Day card. 12, Goes down the list here. 12 Stones Broken is the theme song of uh, of Judgment Day. I don't remember. Go, JR goes, the song, uh, the hit song. <laughs> <laughs> now, I feel like 12 Stones, is 12 Stones, let me, 12 Stones does the Nexus theme. Like the group? Yeah, you remember the Nexus? We walk alone. They do that song. Yeah, Tubby Emu had that shirt. Yeah, yeah, three of them. <laughs> and the armband. <laughs> uh, it shows Edge versus Angle, hair versus hair. Holy fuck. And then it cuts to them with bald renders of themselves. <laughs> that is Edge. I mean, the Kurt one is crazy because I feel like the Kurt one looks like one they eventually use for him. Like, it's... They, lined, yeah, they, no, they figured right. out the shape of his head perfectly for this. And Edge looks insane, actually. Edge is crazy yeah. with the glasses, bald headed Edge. Why'd they do that, That's man? fucked up, man. That's crazy, man. Uh, they the Hardys and Brock and Heyman one is a very early Brock render because he still has the goatee and his hair is not the same. He does have the goatee. Yeah. I'm glad he does that, too. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so we go backstage. Goldust is backstage, and he starts singing some fucking Lumberjack song. <laughs> Goldust says, I'm so excited. Flair has given us the opportunity to be amongst the other lumberjacks. And you look ravishing. We should sing that lumberjack song. Fuck, if Tony was here, I'd make him sing it. Damn it. I was, that was my plan. <laughs> that was my plan. Fuck. <laughs> but it's the I'm a lumberjack and I don't care song he sings. Uh, and he says, take it away. And it cuts to Booker T in full lumberjack outfit with beard. And Booker is pissed. <laughs> Dude, the way they cut to this was fucking perfect. Booker's comedic timing is just so good. His eyes are bulging out of his head. <laughs> this is so Booker. Oh my god, I can't. I can't believe they never wanted to like give this guy the world at that point. That's like crazy. It's even crazier that this happens on this episode of all the fucking episodes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, because in like ten minutes, yeah, everything changes. So Booker, Booker said, "Man." I feel like a fool with this on. Where's your lumberjack outfit? And Golda says, well, you, you don't have to, you have to wear, you don't wear that. Yeah. And Booker says, what? what? <laughs> like real high pitch. What? <laughs> he says, are you idiot? And he, Booker goes to hit him with an ax. <laughs> he says, since you like this outfit so much, you wear it out there. And he leaves. Does like, Goldust oh. actually wear it out there? He does not wear it out there. He just oh, wears you the, bitch. Yeah, he should have worn it. That would have been awesome. <laughs> Uh, Judgment Day is presented by 1-800-CALL-ATT. Ah, it's it's uh, free for you and cheap for them. Yo, you remember that? That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's shit, <laughs> uh, Big Show and X-Pac versus Bradshaw. Yes, uh, X-Pac in NWO tights and Kane Mask is Kane Mask. one of my favorite. Like, how, was this this was never in a game, was it? With the mask. Kane Mask with NWO theatrics. That's so fucking, <laughs> I love this. There's a figure of this, by the way. Of the Cade Mass X Pac? Yeah. And the wow, NWO gear. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. It's like a they, got the th they should come out with a theatrics version where it's black and white. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck. Have that's... they ever done that? No. Black and white NWO pack? Yeah, like no. theatric NWO wow. stuff. Oh, that'd be cool. That's a good idea. Yeah. Read yeah, that that's... check up. But yeah, this is fucking. <laughs> <laughs> who who, who <laughs> makes these figures? <laughs> Mattel? Mattel got yeah. that. Galoob, hit my line. <laughs> Cella Toys. Zombie Sailor. <laughs> Get on that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I love this X Pac look. He's fucking cool here. Um, so uh, Bradshaw's out here handicap match. Um, Bradshaw 
throws X-Pac into the corner and says, tag his ass to tag in the big show. That was so, I love that. I thought that was Where baller. he was just beating the shit out of X-Pac and he goes, tag big show. Yeah, just tag his ass in here and big show tags in and Bradshaw just starts throwing fucking, fucking bombs at him. Uh, he tries to shoulder tackle big show down, doesn't work. He goes for it again. X-Pac hits a knee in the back, and then Big Show hits him with a fucking just off fuck you clothesline and just puts him on his shit. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, that was awesome, dude. Yeah. The, the the whole beginning of this match was awesome. It kind of goes, and they start getting heat on him or whatever. It's it a like lot whatever, of but. heat. I mean, but again, it's a fucking handicap match. This is the second handicap match on the show, I just realized. I forgot there was yeah, one Yeah, very, top. very Eric Bischoff <laughs> Raw style yeah. here, for sure. Uh, eventually, uh, Bradshaw tries to hit the, your finish. <laughs> <laughs> Good call on that. <laughs> yeah, x Pac hits the buckle, Bradshaw hits the ropes, but Big Show fucking hits him with maybe one of the loudest chair shots. Uh, it's so loud. I don't know how he got it that loud. Right to the fucking back, Just yeah. Just annihilates him with his chair uh, and then gets in the ring. Two choke slams to Bradshaw and the NWO get the win. Lillian announces them just as NWO at the end. By the way, not Big Show. And That's X-Pac. insane. I don't yeah. <laughs> Big Show and X Pac NWO style. This is nuts. They're the only members. <laughs> this is like the craziest NWO ever. Like they were like this was the biggest middle finger to WCW ever. Oh, actually, just went, this I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, it then shows. You can watch Judgment Day on your computer at home with the live webcast. Did you ever do this? No. I feel like... There is no fucking way <laughs> that I could have watched anything on my computer yeah, back then. I, was, I feel like I tr- maybe wanted to, but I didn't have the testicular fortitude to ask my parents to buy that. Plus, we were also watching it in very mischievous ways on television. <laughs> so, I was watching Sunday Night Heat, and then I was looking up the results afterwards, and then I would go on the bus and be like, yo, did you guys see when Bradshaw defeated Big Show in five minutes and 49 <laughs> seconds at Judgment Day? <laughs> Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, that was just how it happened, yeah. too. Yeah, that was yeah me too. So, <laughs> me too, I saw it. <laughs> so it's weird, because it says, you know, they're advertising the, hey, Jared, you can watch it at home on your computer. Uh, so, but the graphic at the top says WWF.com, like on the bar, but it shows WWE.com on the logo, but Jerry Lawler says you can watch it on WWF.com, and then JR says you can watch it on your computer at WWE.com. So no one knows. Just go to <laughs> WWFHardies.com right now. WWF. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you can watch my balls being kissed. You can definitely watch. There's surely something on WWFHardies.com right now called Judgment Day. Absolutely. Yeah, well, there's, there's something there. Like, I'm going to check that out. See what's popping this week on WWFHardies.com. No, no. No, I've got to take a peek as he was popping. You think here, it's so. updated constantly? Like a weekly nah, update? No, we of- still got Julia Ann and Gina Valentine doing that. I mean, this week we do got Tiffany Watson up here. That's pretty interesting. She's ranked top. Angela White. Is that the WWF top 25 ranking? Of- yeah, right here at the bottom. It's flashing. It's blinding me, actually, <laughs> which is crazy. Uh, good website. Thank you, Jeff Farty and Matt Hardy. <laughs> Jeff, yeah, keep it up, Lita. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so we go backstage. Oh Hulk God. Hogan with hat. Coach is catching up with Hogan as Hogan is set to leave here. His motorcycle is parked exactly where he left it when he arrived. And Hogan has his big helmet on and his big leather jacket. And Coach says, congrats on your win. But, you know, you got to focus on The Undertaker at Judgment Day. And Hogan says, you know something, Coach. <laughs> Me and my pasta okay, I'm glad you wrote this down. Did you write this down like legit what he said? Uh, this yes, has to yes, be the most <laughs> fucked up thing I've ever heard in my life. I couldn't believe what I was listening to. If I missed anything, let me know. But I'm pretty sure I got it here. Uh, he said, you know something, Coach. Me and all my Hulkamaniacs will take care of Taker at Judgment Day. I got to say, thank God for the rattlesnake. <laughs> Because he made my day. <laughs> I was going to ride around to, you know, I was going to ride around Toronto tonight, take the leathers off, flex these 24 inch pythons, and spook some of the creeps out there. <laughs> what? The what? Fuck? what? What? <laughs> what? What are you? T- what? <laughs> he's gonna rip the leather off and spook some of the creeps out there tonight, Toronto. You know what he's saying, dude. <laughs> you know what he's saying. Yes, sir. I'm gonna take the leathers off, flex the pythons. Where? <laughs> what is In Toronto tonight, spooking all the creeps out there. But I think I'm gonna ride my Harley out there, dude, and be one of the lumberjacks in his match and watch his back. And you know, so- and then out of nowhere, Undertaker brains him in the head with a crowbar. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Hulk Hogan couldn't be more safely padded here. How did this crowbar affect him in the least? 
He was wearing like three jackets, man. <laughs> he had a full Two helmet hats, on. Bandana. Taker comes up, watch out. Taker has a baller ass line here. He says, "You should be watching your own back." Don't you know Dead Man Inks in the house? I was like, "Oh fuck, that's in so his sick." House. <laughs> that's so sick. But yeah, Hogan's dead. He's dying here. Got crowbarred the hell. Taker. Dinner pythons. No, no, no dude. The I didn't get this creep. <laughs> <laughs> I should have exposed myself to this creep here, dude. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> Flex these 24 balls. <laughs> you kiss them, dude. Uh, so Taker starts hog tying Hogan's ankles to the back of Hogan's motorcycle. Uh, takes a while. <laughs> Hogan. Wow. Hog In my head, I thought you just said he started hog tying his balls to the motorcycle. And then it took a second. I was like, you didn't say that. <laughs> Tell me. You didn't just say that. Let me try that one more no. time. His ankles. His ankles. Uh, to the back of this. It took a long time. <laughs> he started hog tying his balls. Like, well, it's, you know, dro a droopy it's sack, dude. Not working. <laughs> Down to my ankles. <laughs> I'm gonna flex these 24 inch balls. I gotta spoot the green. Take the leathers here. off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for my rattlesnake, dude. Holy fuck! <laughs> So, Taker takes forever here to hog tie Hogan to this fucking motorcycle. Hogan is, you know, just writhing in pain on the floor, moaning, ah, 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 dude. Taker's like trying to talk. She said, yeah, you, yeah, fuck oh, you. this is hard. Oh, oh, oh fuck. He's, How do you do this? He has to go back and punch him in the head a couple of times. Ah, <laughs> ah. I'll figure this out, I promise. Very awkward amount of fucking just time here. Eventually, Taker ties him up. He says, "Ditch is right. <laughs> God, this shit, motherfucker." Uh, Taker says, "Since I don't have a bike anymore, uh, I'll be damn glad to ride on yours." So Taker gets on Hogan's bike, starts. I'm gonna ride your bike, Hogan. <laughs> Get off my hog, dude. Let me try that <laughs> one more time. Nobody, nobody rides my hog and gets away with it, dude. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> so Hogan starts the motorcycle. He looks back. He looks forward. And he begins to drive. He begins to drag Hulk Hogan through the hallway, carpeted hallway, and Hogan... No way, Jay. I says, <laughs> Hogan is getting dragged on that concrete. Hogan, full leather jacket helmet, is sliding across the floor in this hallway. It's fucking the craziest visual ever. I don't remember it being this fucking funny. Hogan is just like clutching <laughs> his chest. <laughs> He's sliding. It's like a jacket scene like it's fucking crazy so they drive out of frame but you still hear the motorcycle then it shows her oh look at what look at what the undertaker just did to hulk hogan this is unbelievable to shit it comes I back like, i like to think here i like to think that uh that that they cut on that scene and so, <laughs> so they got like a stunt hogan to get in the back <laughs> I've, oh, had, oh. I've had enough of this dude <laughs> I ain't riding no man's hog, bro. Get Sean Stasiak out here. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be crazy. That'd be so Stun Hogan? I need to on the about ground? my brother Horace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What if that was right? Holy shit. Horace in the helmet? <laughs> that'd be crazy. Get my dude here. So it comes back. Taker is driving back. It's not a new hallway. It's the same hallway. He's coming back. So Taker had to turn around <laughs> entirely. And He's we, coming back. We saw the hallway earlier. It's the same one that Taker walks out of. So he does. He has, like, I don't know how they nah, do this. Nah, no way. I think they flipped it horizontally. They took the video <laughs> and then flipped it to the other side. <laughs> That's so sick. He's Taker, coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> Taker drives back down with Hogan fucking smashing into the walls. <laughs> Holy shit, He drives man. back into the, the fucking parking lot area, kinda, and Hogan slides across the floor, hits a bunch of boxes with a bunch of fucking pipes and water containers. What the fuck is this setup here? 
Dude, I thought, uh, yeah, I, I, back in the day, I didn't know what pipe for pipe and drape looked like, so I always just assumed they just had a bunch of pipes hanging around. I did too. That's fucking pipe and drape pipe. That's now that crazy. makes a lot more sense. Yeah. yeah. They never explained that though. No way. <laughs> so Hogan, a bunch of boxes and pipe and fucking water containers drop on Hogan. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh brother. And Hogan, uh, I'm leathered there. out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Taker walks up and says, Welcome to my world, Hogan. What does that mean? Taker, yeah, you heard him. <laughs> Taker's getting dragged around on the back of a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, you heard this motherfucker. So Sergeant Slaughter and the paramedics, which is the top of the line medical team we have here. EMTs and Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> Equally. Well, you know, Sergeant Slaughter was in the war. He knows what <laughs> yeah, he's doing. What war? <laughs> yeah, the, the world war. You know damn well which one. All of them. All of them. <laughs> They take off Hogan's helmet to put on a neck brace. I don't know if that was necessary. <laughs> and Hogan is just laying there moaning. Oh. 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 God. The, the fucking scene. I mean, him dragging Hogan initially is funny as hell. Them coming back and them take her driving back down the hallway and Hogan just sliding across the carpet is. I was laughing so goddamn hard, man. Yeah, the camera shot was impeccable here. This it's is like a bottom down shit. shot. It's not like a regular camera shot. It's like, you know, meant to be like a movie look. <laughs> like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, so after that, it's time for the main event. Yeah, then we go from yeah, Hogan. Fuck the Hogan thing. Murdered. We're moving on. <laughs> Lumberjack time, baby. Yeah, Steve Austin Lumberjack match. All the stars are here. <laughs> <laughs> And big. <laughs> and big by Rick Flair. I would love to see Rick Flair try to name anybody around this <laughs> ring. Yeah. Well, you don't think Rick Flair was going out of his way to find Crash Holly, Just Incredible, <laughs> Big Boss big Man, Boss Man, <laughs> Gold Dust Booker T, Raven, Eddie Guerrero, William Regal, Brock Lesnar, X Pac, and Big Show? You don't think he was looking for all these guys? Holy shit, man. Oh. How did Gold Dust even end out up out here? Like they just had like two faces and a bunch of heels. I mean, they weren't even dressed up, man. Fuck you. <laughs> So Flair's music is playing. Flair, just to make sure you don't think he's in the NWO, is wearing a WWF or WWE Get this the F Out shirt. the worst shirt. I thought he was wearing it backwards. He had no the big way. WWE logo on the back. That's how to get crazy. the F Out on the front, brother. Yeah, but like that shirt is crazy. They sh I wish they made one that had like the WWF logo on the front yeah. or WWE logo, like titty style. Yeah. And then get the F out in the back. You're right. That would have been, that been way cooler. But they didn't. They didn't. The titty. The titty design wasn't invented yet. Yeah, we only have the one that starts below your titty. <laughs> Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Shawn Michaels style. Shawn Michael style. <laughs> so oh, Austin God. comes out here. Uh, immediately starts fighting with the lumberjacks. Flair and Big Show start whooping his ass. They throw him in the ring. Flair gets on the mic and says, "And now, Austin, you son of a bitch, <laughs> you got Booker T. Come on, Booker. You're the newest member of the NWO." And Booker gets in the ring, confused, looking at his hand, and then starts beating up Austin. Wh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Booker is okay with this. He was fine. Yeah, he just joins the, the NWO. NWO. Like, Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah, it's awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> JR says, oh, that's news to Booker T and also news to us. <laughs> okay, great. NWO style. Booker gets in looking at his hand like, what do I do? <laughs> Talk to the hand. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> Why did it get so evil? <laughs> he does not have NWO gear, so obviously he was not prepared for this. Did he ever have NWO gear? Or I, I swear tripping? he did. I got okay. No, I, I for, some I, for some reason, reason I, I feel like he I had feel it. like he had NWO hat. I, for some reason, I remember Booker T with NWO. No, he hat. has uh, here. He has it like Scott Hall style. Oh yeah, he just took Scott Hall's attire. It's legit okay. just Scott Hall's fucking gear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know what? It was Sean with the hat. It was Sean. Sean with the had the hat, hat and the NWO shirt. Yes, I don't. So Sean didn't wrestle when he was in NWO. Is that right? Um, I'm not sure. He probably just went home again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing to say, Tony. Oh. <laughs> Owned. I'm with you, James. This time. Got him. <laughs> Brock starts whooping Austin's ass, by the way, and Brock even, like, you know, Austin's, you know, bigger guy, but Brock is, like, t like double Austin's weight here, it looks like. It's crazy. Yeah, he, dude, he's, 
I can't believe they even had him out there. So Brock is putting the fucking shoulder tackle him into the ring post, into the barricade, uh, into the apron. Um, he throws him back in, and Booker starts yelling at him, saying, I got it! <laughs> I got this! <laughs> Austin goes for the stunner. Booker blocks it, spins Austin around, goes for a line. Austin ducks that and punches the shit out of Booker. Kills Booker with a spine buster as well. I always like that spine buster. They kind of had a similar spine buster, actually, now that I think about it. Or he just it. throws him? It's kind of like, yeah, you just kind of get him up, and then you don't hold on to him. You just swing your arms through and take their legs. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. no, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I like that one a lot. Yeah, it's, a, cool. it's like uh, very impactful. Uh, Booker's would always he'd go down to his knees. It'd be like bring you up, slam down, kind of like an Alabama slam to the knees, I guess. Stone Cold's was he would get you up and then just toss you like a sack of fucking just bricks. Fuck, fuck you, man. yeah, I'm not taking that bump, John. <laughs> that was sweet. You see, I got two knee braces. You think I'm dropping to a knee? Yeah, at this point, no way, <laughs> no bro. Just take your me. bump and let's move on. <laughs> Booker hits Austin in, right in the face with a super kick that I think kind of rattled Austin because I think the end of this match is a little wonky. I don't know you don't see him taking too many kicks like that. He probably shouldn't. Yeah, probably. Because I feel like he's fucked up for the rest of this match because <laughs> he, he takes the kick, and then we're not too far from the finish here. Like, Big Show gloms him a little more. Uh, Austin's just a good seller, really. Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, Austin low blows Booker. Um, it's, it's disqualifications here, though. The Lumberjacks all start getting up on the apron. Austin's bumping all of them. Uh, Austin ducks a couple missed clotheslines, weird-ass clotheslines from Booker. I don't know what happened to this finish here. But Austin rolls him up and gets the win. I was... That's what made me think that something was weird because Austin kind of just rolled them up and won. I thought it was right. Yeah, I yeah. Know, but was, it, I mean, it was a you know against that's all, all odds thing, like homes. a quick win. Yeah, I think I get it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Raven tries attacking Austin on the way out, but Austin's having none of that. Immediately kicks his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bitch. <laughs> JR, JR, you, I better, back. you better get out of here, you damn Texas rattlesnake. <laughs> Austin's flipping them off on the stage. Uh, he's he's you know he just won flipping flare off. Who's in the ring flipping out? And then all of a sudden, Arn Anderson jumps Austin from behind. Holy shit. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. That was crazy. I, With the fucking tan shirt on, crazy looking dude. And the loafers, he's just whooping his ass. This he, is the enforcer real talk right here. He throws Austin back in the ring. Big Show loads him up for a choke slam, holds him in the air forever, kills him, drops like four, five elbow drops on him, drops a bunch of knees on him. Austin's bleeding out of his mouth, takes another choke slam. Flair is punching the way at him. He's just getting his ass whooped. Every, no one, like everyone else is, no one is wanting to save Austin. Not a single, not even Goldust is out here. Just so no friends? Where was Goldust? Probably trying to find the Lumberjack dude. <laughs> I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> and JR ends the show by saying, Judgment Day came early for the Rattlesnake, but will he be executed this Sunday on Big Holy Review? Holy <laughs> fuck, man. Holy shit. <laughs> will he die? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. What a cool line, though. Excellent. He was great at that. He was great at the like, you know, big go moment. home. It's time yeah. to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we got a what show? show? What the sh playoffs are this. What week? show is coming up here, Sean? <laughs> Auburn versus Alabama. All the shows are here. <laughs> Roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking I thought this was a fun show I don't think the crowd liked it though <laughs> yeah I don't think I think the crowd what the fuck is this I, th I liked it I had fun with this fucking show yeah I thought I mean there's a lot going on here I like this a lot yeah it was cool man I think the I think the matches could have been a little like if you were looking at it they could have sure. done a little better spreading the matches out uh because I guess it was more so because we've seen the future, so we sure. know what the future is. Yeah, you're right. Maybe at the time it wasn't tired yet, but fucking... I remember that Eric Bischoff Raw shit being like always handicapped, fucking yeah, triple threat. You're like, right. I remember that a lot. It was a very interesting show. A lot of crazy shit. Uh, the Taker Hogan stuff is so fucking funny, man. I feel like it's I the funniest shit ever. I haven't seen that in forever, so it was like I was dying. Uh, Fucking Stone Cold's just, he's just Stone Cold. <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't get any better, really. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So there you go. That was Raw from May 13th, 2002.